Everybody, this is Psych with just a, a little update video. <clears throat> a handful of things that I wanted to to talk about. First things first, this game is Perfect Dark, arguably one of the greatest first-person shooters ever made. And this version is the Xbox Live version, which I think is even better because. If only for the simple fact that you do not have to play it with an N64 analog stick. That's what makes it better. But... The reason I'm using this game, and specifically this level, which is Datadyne Central Extraction, is because there's a little Easter egg that you can achieve in this level. If you get the office keycard, which requires you to kill all of the guards on this first floor, before the lights turn back on. And also use either a crossbow or combat knives. Or both. Anyways, that will be revealed at the end of this video. The update in question is... There's three things I wanted to talk about. First and foremost, about... The future of this channel. Like what I talked about last video is I want to get into doing doing uh, PC PC games of which I'm in the process of working on the only problem is I need a copy of Windows 98 boot up disk on CD which believe it or not is kinda difficult to come across because it may be the simple fact that Windows 98 was only around since 2000 and 2000. So, if only for the simple fact that it's, what, 15 years old now? Makes it a little more difficult to, to get a hold of, but I'm working on that. And that's all I need is the boot up disk, but... So that's where I'm at on that front. The second thing that I wanted to talk about is there is a contest that I've had in mind ever since, I want to say, my Let's Play of Banjo-Kazooie, however long ago that was, two years, I guess. And I'm thinking about starting it. The details will be in the next video that I upload, the video after this one. And it may go through, it may not, who knows. Again, all the details in the next video. And the third thing that I wanted to talk about is... There is... I've kind of been thinking about doing a co-op Let's Play. I just don't know all the details that would be involved with doing so. Like, literally, at this point right now, it's just a thought. Uh, a potential. And possibly I have a game in mind. But other than that, I really don't have any other... <clears throat> any more ideas about it. Like, I have no idea who I would do it with. I don't know how it would work. I have no idea how I would record it. You know, just a lot of little details. So, like I said, at this point right now, it's just an idea. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can think of. That's pretty much the extent of it. We meet again, girl. You've become quite an annoyance. Good night, Miss Dark. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so to recap, um, still working on getting my PC set up so that I can actually record the PC games that I've been talking about. There is a contest that I would like to do, 
and hopefully it goes through. There are certain requirements that are needed in order to make that happen. But we'll see if it goes through or not. And throwing around an idea for a co-op Let's Play. If that happens or not, that would be pretty cool. But I'm not even worrying about that until probably the summer. So... Yep, that's about it. I'm just gonna finish off this little... This little... This little deal. Here's a question I just thought of that I've asked a lot of people in the real world, but I've never had a straight answer necessarily. <clears throat> this is Perfect Dark on the Xbox Arcade, which means that it has achievements. And since it has achievements, this game is one of the few games that has non-online achievements that I have not gotten because some of them are just really hard and I've just kind of stopped trying <laughs> to be honest that plus I'm working on other games that I've never played before so that that has captured my attention so what I want to ask is in terms of considering this game or any game for that matter 100% does that include the achievements slash trophies or does that not include the achievements slash trophies because technically speaking, if it does not include the achievements, then I have 100%ed this game. But if it does include the achievements, then I have not. My personal feeling on it is that it does not, considering that this game existed before achievements and trophies. So, and by the way, this game is, in my opinion, significantly easier to complete than the N64 version. But that's just me. So, that's the question I have. I guess I'd just like to see what your guys' opinions are. But we're coming up at the very end of this level, so I'm going to start leaving it off right about here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next video for the details on the contest that I talked about. Have a good one. Going somewhere. Something I can do for you, old woman. Return our sapient immediately. You don't know what you're doing. Yes, I do. I'm leaving. One more chance. Give it back. And you could come and work for me. Sorry, gotta shoot. You must get the sapient back. We cannot proceed without it. I know that. I also know who to talk to. Mr. Carrington.